we have a single mode fiber optic cable and a multi mode fiber optic cable. Which one to choose to set up a network between the point A and point B? The primary difference between these two cables is the multiple fiber optic cable has a large core than the single mode fiber optic cable. Does it mean we can have higher speed on multi mode fiber optic cable? That's not true. We can apply 100 gigabit per second to a single mode fiber optic cable, and this cable is the preferred solution for a city to city link. As you know, there's a lot of data transmission and receiving between two cities. Let's dive a little bit deeper. In order to work with the fiber optic cable, we need a device, right? This is the media converter, and we need an SIP transceiver. When these two devices work together, then it converts electrical signal to optical signal. Inventory, it provides the light. We say it's laser, the laser pass through this cable. One thing you need to understand is the SAP transceiver will determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use. If the SAP transceiver is made for a single mode fiber optic cable, you only can pick the single mode fiber optic cable. Otherwise, you have to choose the multiple fiber optic cable. Unlike the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable, you can use higher grade like K6 or K7 Ethernet cable to replace the K5 Ethernet cable. You can do this for the fiber optic cable. The reason is because the characteristic of the light generated by the SFP transceiver is different. You can swap the cable, otherwise it's not going to work. Now we know something, we need to consider the SRP transceiver, transceiver or the device at both ends to determine the fiber optic cable. But still didn't give us a question which one to pick. Another difference between these two cables is the single mode fiber optic cable can reach much longer network distance than the multi mode fiber optic cable. It's easier to set up the network up to 20 kilometers by using a single mode fiber optic cable. But if you read the spec of the SFP transceiver, which is made for the multi mode fiber optic cable, usually you only will see the 550 meters. How about the cost? The cost is pretty much similar if the network speed you try to implement is about 10 gigabit per second or lower. With a single mode fiber optic cable, there's no need to consider the maximum distance in the most of the scenario. However, if you decide to use a multi mode fiber optic cable, it's really important to read the specification of the SRP transceiver and figure out what is the maximum distance the SRP transceiver can support.